ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today, we're currently here in Truckee on our way to Winnemucca. Winnemucca, I don't think we've necessarily settled on a name just yet. I say we haven't settled on a name. They have settled on a name. I just haven't settled on a pronunciation of said name. So, uh, yeah, you're going to have to deal with that for a while. I'm probably going to keep changing back and forth between how I pronounce that, which people are going to love. And am I going to hit that wall? Uh, I was close to hitting it, but I didn't. So that's probably for the best. I've done that so many times in, uh, in American Truck Simulator. You've probably spotted it more during time lapses than uh, when I, I ramble and don't really do much. Yeah, I, I go around corners quicker than I should, which really isn't a good idea because so many times I'm sitting there looking at my truck. I'm like, it's leaning, it's leaning, it might tip over, and if it doesn't tip over, it might hit the wall. And that's not a fun feeling to have, I'm going to be honest. That's a little daunting, shall we say? It, it can be a little bit... Uh, scary as well because I don't want to have to spend loads of money repairing my truck and I don't want to be fined or lose money from the job I'm doing so yeah it's generally for the best that we uh that we don't crash the truck also I know I shouldn't be overtaking another truck but I'm gonna and I'm just doing it to get there quicker I want my money you know I, I'm like everyone else I'm here to uh truck bitches and get money well, the good news is that we have 247 miles left to go, and I have 447 miles of fuel left in the truck, so we're not going to have to stop, which is good news. Don't need to stop on the way there. I'm also speeding like a mother trucker. There we go. We'll just slow ourselves down a little bit there, lock ourselves in at 53 miles per hour, and uh, up to 65, apparently. There we go. All right, so we're well on our way, and things are going well. Something I would like to address, though, people ask me in the comments a lot about why my speed limit is uh, different to what theirs might be. If we go here, and I'm going to do it in the middle of a video because why not, you can go to gameplay, and I, for one, I've turned off fatigue simulation. I've also turned off, is it in truck settings? It might, truck speed limiter, I think. It might be that. I, th I think it might be that. Is it anything in here? Doesn't look like it. it oh, no, this is it. Route advisor, speed limit, show the car limit, basically. Uh, so I'm, I'm not doing the truck limit. I'm doing the car speed limit because it lets me go a bit quicker. That's what I've got set to make, you know, I, I'm all for realism, but... At the same time, it can be a little bit dull to sit there. It's like, oh, I'm going to sit at 55 miles per hour while everyone else is going 70 bloody five. So, yeah, I choose to uh, to go a little bit quicker for the sake of a little bit of realism. Also, we're going to have to go through Stockton at 30 miles per hour. This is fun. I really dislike this. I Oh, God. Oh, we're all right. Yeah, I, I really dislike this route that it takes us here through Stockton because we can clearly go straight. And you know what? I'm going to go straight on. To hell with it. I I am not going through Stockton. I'm going straight on and I'm going to come off the highway at the upper part of Stockton. So I'm not being taken along the main road through Stockton. This ought to work, right? This should be. Yeah, there we go. It's changed the route. It's changed the route or route. That's another one. It's changed the route that we're taking. And it should be a bit quicker to go this way because I can just stay on the highway. So this is good. Let's just slow down a little bit here because I'm going to want to drop down to 35 in a second. Nice and easy does it. That's a stop sign. Oh, I'm going this way, sir. Don't mind me. Let's just, let's just floor it and hope for the best. Also, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting at the moment. This is, I've just got into work today. This is the first thing I'm recording today. Uh, for one, I think I sound a little bit nasal. I do apologize for that. I'm getting a slight cold. But for two, the sun is just glaring off of my screen right now. It's actually kind of annoying and making it very difficult to see what's going on at nighttime in this game. So that's fun. Let's just pull around here a little bit. 
stick at 30 miles per hour because we can't go any faster. But at least, you know, we're pretty much out of Stockton at this point. We're on the, uh, the little bit of road out here. I think that sign up there says, is that 65? That is 65. All right, let's floor it. Let's, uh, let's get up to 65 and see if we can, uh, hopefully get to Winnemucca before, say, I mean, it says five hours and 24 minutes. I reckon we could knock that down to, I, I reckon it's going to take us like four to get there. I think four is a good time. reached our destination here in Bakersfield, which is super good news. We're currently sitting on $34,000. I'm going to just slam on the brakes there. Otherwise, I'm going to go into the back of this guy, which I would rather not do. Everyone seems to be... Oh, careful. That was, uh, that, was, uh, that was a little bit close there. This guy's carrying a flammable gas. Probably a good idea that I don't crash into him. Now, come on. Come on. Let's get, let's get moving. Let's... Come on. Get... Move. Come on. Go, buddy. You're going left as well? All right. The guy in front was holding us up, huh? Him and his bulldozer. Alright, anyway, let's go. Oh, come on. What's holding you up this time? I get it, there's a stop sign. But, you know, if someone doesn't stop for a truck, they're an idiot. Uh, now let's go. That's a bus. You're gonna stop. Thank you very much. That's another truck in front that better stop. Come on. Yeah, you, you better. There we go. That's what I thought. Okay, so we want to turn into the right here. Into another Walbert. Seems fine by me. We're now within Bakersfield. Let's go. Nice and easy does it. We're going to have to take this a little bit wide so we don't hit the city limit sign. Which we don't seem to be doing, which is excellent news. So let's just pull in to Walbert. Are we on the thing? We're on the thing. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just... I'm in a hurry. Let's... Uh, forget it. We're in a hurry. Let's go. So it was excellent. Show me results. Very close to level 12. Good bit of money from that. And uh, that's good. That is, that is some very good news. Now you might be thinking, you might be thinking, hey, you've got enough money to get that uh, that truck upgrade that you were talking about. Well, actually, I don't. And the reason I don't is because to get that upgrade, there's a couple of things on my truck that I would need to change, which is also sort of the chassis. And I don't have the money because that chassis upgrade takes the entire upgrade from about $30,000 to $44,000. So right now, I don't really have enough. And if we go to my bank, I mean, you can see I've got $58,000 to repay on this loan, which will take almost $2,000 off of what I'm paying every day. I also don't have enough to do that. Basically, if I want to repay this loan, I want to be sitting at about $65,000. If I want this upgrade, I want to be sitting at about $55,000. So what I'm saying is, depending on what we want to do, I either need another $10,000 or $20,000. Now, there is this, which is $20,000 from Winnemucca, which I'd rather not do. So let's see. Where's Ox? Oxnard's over there. Which isn't terrible, but it is going back to... Winnemucca, which I really don't want to do because we've just been there. Is there anything in Bakersfield? There is a $13,000 job in Bakersfield. There's an 8000 there, which is a 378-mile trip versus 626. What about El Centro? Is there anything there? Santa Cruz, 420, uh, 427, 231. What about San Diego? Uh, 551, five, uh, is there anything going to Nevada? I'm looking for some long trips there. Which they don't really seem to have, interestingly. Uh, what about, where's LA? LA's there, right? So LA to Redding. Ugh, LA to Ely. 
I mean, these, this one's not bad and LA's not that far. And I could get to that job and then just truck up the highway to, uh, to Redding. It's four tons of fireworks for $14,277 versus the top one here being 13211 to Eureka. I think I'm going to take that. No, it's not really got that much to it. Uh, that one's got to Reno. Not much money, but it is an important delivery. Uh, maybe we'll not take those then. What about Curon? Anything there? I, maybe the LA job then. Barstow has that one going all the way up to Jackpot. 649. That's a hell of a distance. Going through Prim, going through Vegas, going through Piosh, going to Ely. Got some diggers, going to Reno. I, I've not actually been to Jackpot, and I feel like I should. I think that's the only place I haven't been to, isn't it? Or, no, I've not been to Oakdale. I've not been to Carlsbad. I've not been to Carson City, and I've not been to San Rafael, and I've not been to Hornbrook. Or, yeah, it's Carson City. I think we'll take this one. We've not been to... We've not been to Jackpot. It's an important delivery. It's decent enough money. Uh, we'll set that as our destination, and I guess we'll get on our way. So let's just swing this. Oh, it actually parked it for me. Well, that's interesting. Let's just swing this around a little bit. And I guess we have a 99-mile drive to Barstow. You know what? I think I might have changed my mind. I'm actually really tempted to take some short trips and see if I can get something from, like, Bar Barstow to Sacramento is not... Not a lot of money, but it's also not a really long journey. And that that could be good, you know? That's that's all terrible. That's 626. I'm not really interested. Bakersfield to San Francisco is a 270-mile trip for 6,430. It's fragile. It's standard. But I think I'm actually going to take some cars. I think I would rather take... A oh, I can just go right here. Okay. Well, I can't at the minute. I'm not in the right lane, but... That's not bad. I think we'll take that. It's a nice quick journey. It's a nice quick $6,000. We can get it done in this episode. No cuts between episodes or anything like that. And uh, I might take a couple of those. I think that could be a nice little throwback to the earlier episodes where we were taking shorter trips and all that stuff. And uh, I, re I reckon it could be a good way to make some quick money. So you either pay off the loan or get the upgrade. I haven't really just, I, I really don't know what, what I want to do. Okay, so that one is, yeah, that one's terrible. Uh, we'll take Bakersfield to San Francisco. All right, so. We're taking those cars. I've never delivered cars before. This will be interesting. This will be uh, very interesting indeed. And then let's just back it up. Nice and gently does it. Just towards the cars, towards the very expensive looking cars. And we're good. Oh, my God. That looks really cool, actually. That looks really cool. I like this. I'm actually really happy about delivering cars. It's it's nice. Why does my voice keep cracking? Is it because this is it because this is the first thing I'm recording today, or oh god, uh, you dick! All right, we're less than 60 miles away from our location, and it looks like we have to go up to a toll booth. So let's just go ahead and do that. I I still don't know if I actually need to do this. I see some trucks going through no problem, but I have to pull up and pay. Kind of annoying, really. Now let's, uh, can, can I pay? Am I good? There we go. $25 to go across this bridge. Isn't this... Hold on a minute. Am I... Where, where am I? I'm currently heading to... San Fran yeah, San Francisco. So I assume we're about to go across the Bay Bridge. Which, I was informed, isn't the Golden Gate Bridge. Which I knew, I always knew, oh, that's weird seeing a car behind me like that. I always knew the Golden Gate Bridge and the and the, uh, the Bay Bridge weren't the same. But uh, it just weirded me out in this game, to be honest. Just a little bit. I don't think this one's the Bay Bridge though, is it? This one takes you up across some water, through a tunnel, and then you're on the Bay Bridge. I don't know what this one is, so there you go. That's There's a, a fact for you. I'm clueless as to what this bridge actually is. Uh, also, it's going down to 50, well, it's, the speed limit's going down to 55 miles per hour. I wasn't even there. So that's good. That's, that's nice to know. Let's just go ahead through this tunnel here. And I believe this is the Bay Bridge. If I'm not mistaken, does that mean the Golden Gate? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the Golden Gate? Where's the... 
Okay. Maybe it's on the other side of San Francisco? I feel like it isn't. I feel like it's still really weird seeing those cars back there. Um, yeah, I feel like I've lost the Golden Gate Bridge. Or that it's not in the game. Or this is it. But I'm pretty sure this isn't it. I really don't- I'm really confused. I'm- I'm really confused. I have no idea where it is. So, there you go. Also, this seems like a really interesting way to get off of a highway. This seems like something I would do in City Skylines, if anything. I'm also pretty sure that this is really similar to the... So in GTA 3, you had Portland, you had, I think it was Staunton Island, I think they called it, and you had, oh, what was the third one? I actually, I've completely forgotten the name of the third island in GTA 3. Whatever the case, the bridge that took you from the second island, Staunton Island, to the third one, I think had, an, had a loop sort of like that to get you up onto the bridge from the second island. Then it had like a sort of big looping thing that took you right into the middle of the third island. No oh god, how do I remember that? I need to I need to replay GTA 3. I need to I want to play through 3 Vice City and San Andreas again at some point soon. I think that could be a lot of fun. But uh yeah, I'm pretty sure it did have that kind of big loop thing going on with it. I need to check this. I also need to remember what that third island was called. And by remember, I mean Google it. Because I am not, for the life of me, going to remember what that third island was called in GTA 3. A game, might I add, that I haven't played in many years. I think I, I own it on Steam. I think I booted it up once, played it for like 20 minutes, and have completely forgotten it. Uh, that said, I love the intro to that game. I really do. I think it's it's just excellently simple. You also have the, uh, what was it, the Colombian cartel, who had like five lines. And like the most common one was, like the, the just, you would just often hear, like if you had a huge crowd of Colombian cartel going on in like the, the construction site in the second island, you would just constantly hear, you gotta be sorry, over and over again. Just because they had like five lines and that was like the most common one was just them going like, you gotta be sorry. And I think the other one was, uh, I don't know if it was a line or if it was just something they said in the intro to the game, but it was, oi, senor dickhead. That was an excellent line as well. That one, for for whatever reason, that one stuck with me. I think it's, that's all, it's cause it's like something I would say. You know, I think that's something I would say, uh, which is either showing me to be really clever or the writing of GTA 3 to be not that great. Uh, so, I'll leave that one up to you. Anyway, let's just go ahead and park me truck. I've been, this is my second time being here, I think. So this is nice. Let's just park the truck in here. See if I can get it in first try. Oh, I did. Technically. I mean, I didn't stop, but I had it highlighted on first try, so let's just back it up a little bit. There we go. All right, excellent. Got me money, only six, th really only 6,430? I did level up, which is nice. So I'll, ta I'll take the skill point. Um, deliveries up to 1,000 miles. 15% higher reward for delivery distances longer than 650 miles. I feel like I'm gonna take a long distance point this time. Although, well, I mean, if I do, I could put points into Fragile because then I get more money or just more reward for Fragile Cargo. Say with high value. If I get this one, I get 20% higher reward with a 5% increase this time on high value cargo. So that could be interesting. We could get Urgent Deliveries Unlocked, which is 6% higher reward, 3% increase for an important delivery, 10% uh, higher reward for an urgent one, and 30% XP bonus for an urgent delivery. I think that could be interesting. Although long distance, I, I'm going to take long distance this time, I think. We'll take that. Just because I'm curious to see what deliveries up to a thousand miles would actually look like. So let's go to the freight market. Let's have a look. 624, what can I sort by distance? Route length descending. San Diego to Reno. Is that really the longest one? So I don't actually have any deliveries of up to a thousand miles. 
I is that because there's nowhere here that's technically I mean Broadway from like jackpot to San Diego Doesn't really seem like it does it? What about Oakland? Oakland to Barstow doesn't have much San Francisco has San Francisco to Vegas isn't bad uh, What about price per distance San Francisco to Barstow? Taking some cars back down that way apparently uh, that is fragile and important Okay, okay. What about price in general? It's gonna be Fran San Francisco to Vegas for 11,000. What about Oakland has one. Santa Cruz has cars for 14,126 on a 569 mile journey. That's a hell of a distance. Uh, we have these going to Eureka as well. That is fragile and high value, but standard. Okay, okay. Uh, well, this one is better per distance, but it is in Eureka, Santa Cruz, which is down there. What about San Francisco? What about, let's have a look at uh, Elko, see if there's anything there. Let's just look in general. Best price is Winnemucca to Oxnard. Um, we have LA to Reading for 18000 What about Sacramento? Nothing really. Stockton, nothing really. San Francisco, not much. Oakland doesn't have much. Santa Cruz has 14000 for cars to Eureka. I think... I think I should take this one. Or, no, maybe maybe a shorter one would be better. If I take, say, whoa, San Francisco to Barstow, San Francisco to LA. I mean, if I, if I take this one, for example, I reckon I could get the upgrade when I get to Barstow. I could get the truck upgrade. Because I'll have the money to pay back my loan. So I think that could be good. Now we have, we have 35 miles to cover before we can go and grab this cargo. But I think, I mean, assuming I can get this delivery done before noon tomorrow, we should be fine. So I should be able to get this uh, delivery done in no time and then pick up my upgrade, which I think would be super nice to do. So... I guess we better get these 35 miles done. Okay, we have our trailer, and there is a hell of a lot of traffic going through San Francisco at the moment, which is annoying because it means we're going to be here for a while. Yeah, also, that's what our truck's probably going to look like there. That red one is uh, pretty accurate, which is cool. I also don't know why I'm moving my mouse. My mouse? Mouth? Oh, God, I cannot speak today. Uh, why I'm moving my mouse when I'm talking. It's like I'm filming a machinima. You know that thing in machinimas when a character has like a helmet or doesn't have a mouth and you just sort of go, Hey, how's it going? You just sort of move the mouse a little bit when you're talking to make it look and show that the character is actually doing something. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that. I legitimately have no idea. So, uh, enjoy that. There you go. That's something I don't know about. Uh, let's just speed up a little bit, locking at 30 there. And we are good to know. That's a Walbert truck there. Hey, buddy. I've I've driven for Walbert before. Not the best company to drive for. But, uh, you know, it pays. It's, eh, it's a living. So we're up on the bridge again, which is excellent news. And I've made a decision. I'm not going to pay off my loan just yet. And I'm also going to make a, stu a second decision which is also a stupid decision because I'm going to get the upgrade before we make this delivery. And you might be asking yourself, well, why are you doing that? Well, the answer is simple, really. Uh, basically, there is a garage just uh, at the end of this highway, sort of, just, just off the bridge a little bit and to the right, I think. Uh, pretty much where we're going, there is a a garage and I just kind of want the upgrade there's also the toll booth which is annoying but I just I just kind of want the upgrade I want my truck to look fancy and pretty so I'm gonna make my truck look fancy and pretty as soon as I can so you can see it on the map there it is on the path that we're heading to you can also sleep there I just noticed that's kind of cool so this should be something also I'm going super super fast and it's strange. 
Because I'm pretty sure if I if I turn too sharply, my truck will tip over, which I really don't want it to do. I kind of want the money and need the money from this delivery. Because I'm about to spend a lot. I'm about to spend... Uh, I'm about to spend $44,000. And leave myself with 1000 That said, I mean, Emily might uh, might come forward with, with uh, some money for the company at some point. But that'll still put me at most at about two and a half thousand dollars. Oh no! You know, I don't think I don't I don't think I have the money anymore. I I don't think I have the money, and I think I have more important things to deal with than, than upgrading. Oh, for God's sake! Get out of my way! Just move! Just move! I had plans. I don't care that I've crashed my vehicle. Fuck off! So it's going to cost me four, uh, $1,115 to repair my truck, which I've done, leaving me with $42,000. If we go to the upgrade shop, we can go to chassis. And as you can see, it is going to cost me, I will remove it, sure. It's going to cost me $44,928 to do this. Because in total, it's actually $80,000 and I'm just making a small change there, but that's what the truck will eventually look like looks amazing looks beautiful all those things i just can't bloody afford it i can also get air filters with the lights it's kind of cool not bad not bad what about the interior what can i make the interior look like there is a new interior isn't there oh wait a minute what the that's my air filters um is that the interior what that's air filters front mirrors what does that one look like oh no i like this one that's a front mirror can i What's this? Blind mode vi No, I don't need that. Do not need that. Um, can I change the interior at all? I feel like I should be able to do this. Let's see. Makes sense. So that's... Is the... Are there no interior changes I can make? Or is that... Oh, it is quite fancy there. What if I change my cab back to that one? So, that's fine. And then go to here. Nothing really new. I also don't appreciate that it makes it white again. Because it means I'm going to have to rebuy my custom color. Which I don't enjoy. I do enjoy that I could get... Ooh. Now, hold on a minute. So, what, what, am I, what am I changing exactly here? If I make that orange... Can I not do that? What about this? Make that orange. Use the preset. Oh, I could... Oh, I could make a beautiful looking truck here. That's not terrible looking. Then if we go to this and make it like black, not bad. Then the oh, it's the line around it. That's kind of cool. That's that's not a terrible looking design. Definitely not my favorite. The divided one, on the other hand, is actually kind of cool. Use me preset. Then it's it's almost conflict node colors. Then do that. Then do that. That's that's interesting looking. If I use the preset there, then we go to this one. I can get a black stripe around it, which I'm kind of enjoying. Interesting. There, well, metallic blue. That's also an interesting color. Uh, custom metallic color. Use me preset. Wait a minute. What are all these? Oh, it's the pearl on it. And then I can do that. Okay, interesting choice. I'd like to use me preset. Then I'd like to put some white in there. I'm not actually going to go ahead with this, but... Yeah, there's so much I can do. I want to do all of it. I'm going to cancel my order. Yeah, I've cancelled my order. Let's go to the upgrade shop. I will upgrade a part of my truck. I'll upgrade these. Because they're not that expensive. I get some lights on there. It's kind of nice. Uh, anything else I can do? I think I can put more lights up there if I want to. Which I don't really want to. I kind of want beacons up there. Like proper proper beacons. But I don't think I'm going to get that option. And I can't upgrade my chassis. I'm not happy with this. Uh, so that's that's for the new cab. That one. That's the problem. It's 220 gallon thing though, so it is more fuel, which is nice. Level 12 gets us a new engine. Also gets us some new transmission. The interior, we can get the classic interior if we want to. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's, that is kind of beautiful. What does that, does that change my seats? It does. Do I want to spend $14,000 on this interior? Because it's probably going to change with the new truck, isn't it? Like if I do this... Then go to interior and go classic. It does look much better than the new truck. 
But right now I hunted $53,000. So somehow I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, it's certainly not going to be happening today because that's actually going to be it for today. We've done a fair bit. We've got some money. We lost some money. But next episode, I reckon we can absolutely get the money that we need. It was, what, $53,000? So we want to be sitting at about $60,000 for that upgrade? We could do that. We're at 42 at the minute. We need $18,000. And then we're good. That said, I mean, most of what we're going to get, if not everything we're going to get from this job, is probably going to go on paying off loans. And I say everything because we are going to be fined a little bit uh, for damage done to the trailer because we did have something crash into the trailer a little bit. So that's that kind of sucks, but uh, it happens. I mean, I'm behind the wheel. Of course it happens. That said, I reckon next time we can look into taking a bit of a longer job, try and just get a big bonus of like $20,000 or more. And that would cover us. That would that would do pretty well and give us enough money to uh, absolutely get the upgrades that we want. We want the new chassis. We want the new interior. We might need more money than that, though, because I think it is going to charge us for coloring it as well with the new metallic color, which is just going to be orange. Alternatively, we might do a stripe around it. We might go for the divided one. I don't know. But I'm curious to see what we end up doing. We might need more money, but next episode, I want to try and try my hardest to get that upgrade because i think i think it could look pretty good for the truck also is that truck over there that one there that's the first truck i had isn't it that is indeed the very first truck i had that brings back some memories anyway folks that is going to be it for today so uh, thank you kind of for watching this has been american truck simulator and i will see you next time Bye bye